Welcome to Max 600 ECG Training by Excellence Biomedical Engineering. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Once all patient preparation and hookup is complete, connect the patient cable to the connection socket on the right hand side of the Max 600. Switch on the Max 600 using the power button located on the left hand side of the number pad. You will now need to identify the patient. Press the F1 button located above the keypad. You will now be prompted to input basic information. Use the number and arrow pads to input the information and confirm each entry with the white circle in the middle of the arrow pad. A minimum of the patient ID is required. When working with System 1, the patient ID is the patient's NHS number. Once you have input the patient information, ensure you have return highlighted and press the white circle in the middle of the arrow pad. The real-time ECG monitoring trace will now appear on the screen alongside the patient ID. On screen, all 12 lead views are clearly labelled and in the top right-hand corner, the patient's heart rate is displayed. Sensitivity and speed are set to the standard default setting and can be adjusted by using the F2 and F3 buttons if required. The lead display button provides you with the option to view a variety of different lead views. For example, you can isolate the chest leads. We would recommend that a 12 lead view is used to confirm a good quality trace is being received on all leads. The quality of the trace can also be reviewed using the trace indicator located at the top right hand corner of the screen. A green indicator means that there are no problems and the machine is ready to capture the ECG. An orange indicator means that there is poor connection to the patient, which is likely to cause some interference on the ECG. You should check the leads indicated and confirm the electrodes have not slipped out of position and that the patient is relaxed. A red indicator means that one or more of the leads has a very poor connection or has become completely disconnected. The machine will attempt to identify and indicate the problematic lead. If the machine does not indicate the exact lead with the problem, all leads should be checked for good, secure connection to the patient. Once at least 10 seconds of a good quality trace on all leads has been observed, the ECG can be acquired by pressing the green button. The next 10 seconds of ECG recording will be captured, after which you will be taken to a review screen. The automatic interpretation can be viewed by pressing the F2 button. If the captured ECG is unsatisfactory, Press the F4 button to cancel, which will take you back to the previous monitoring screen, allowing you to capture the ECG again. If you are happy with the ECG you have captured, press the F3 button to store the ECG. The stored ECG can be printed if required by pressing the F1 button. The patient can be disconnected now from the machine. Switch off the ECG machine by pressing and holding down the power button for 5 seconds until the display goes blank. To send the ECG file to the patient record system, eject the memory card located on the back of the machine by pressing in the card and allowing it to pop out. The memory card can now be placed into the card reader connected to the PC running the patient record system. Once connected, ensure that you have the correct patient open within System 1. Click the i3 icon on the taskbar. This will launch the i3 software whilst keeping System 1 in the background. If you don't have the i3 icon on the taskbar, then you will find this on the desktop. Clicking the Start button will take you to the product selection screen. Click the ECG button. If you are using more than one type of ECG machine, a submenu will appear. Ensure that Mac PDF Filer is selected 
then click Start. I3 will now connect to System 1 and retrieve the active patient's details. Confirm these details are correct by clicking Yes. These details will then be used to identify ECGs intended for the confirmed patient. A list for ECGs stored on the memory card will be displayed. The software looks at the patient ID of ECGs stored on the card and attempts to match them with the currently selected patient in System 1. Any ECGs intended for the confirmed patient will now be ticked to send. On the right hand side of the screen you can view an ECG by clicking the View button. As part of the filing process you have the opportunity to enter a comment to be filed alongside the ECG report in System 1. For example, you might want to note any patient specific symptoms or who requested the ECG. You can do this by clicking the Add button next to the ECG and typing the comment. We will just enter the word training so that you can see where it appears. Click OK to save the comment. If an ECG is not automatically ticked to send, but you are certain it was intended for the currently selected patient, click the Assign button to manually assign the ECG to the current patient. To send all the selected ECGs to the currently selected patient, Click the Send button. A confirmation of filing will be displayed. Click OK to close the software. Remove the memory card from the card reader and plug this back into the Mac 600. The results can now be viewed in the patient record. In the new journal you will see that the ECG attachment has been read coded automatically with a 3212 standard ECG read code. Our comment of training can be seen to the right of the attachments. The ECG report appears as an attachment in a PDF document format. To open the attached result, right-click and then select View in Windows. The report contains the patient's details, the average measurements and the system interpretation with a standard resting ECG report format. Beneath this is two and a half seconds of every lead view with a 10 second rhythm strip of lead 2 along the bottom. This concludes the basic ECG capture and filing process. If you need any more information on how to use the Mac 600 ECG system, please contact our technical support team on 0114 399 0010 or visit...